a video on double checking that the uh, white powder that I got from uh, when I was making apple juice uh, that came out the bottom of the apples uh, that settled in the bottom of the container um, is actually pectin um, and so yeah so I wasn't entirely convinced I just want to double check that it actually is uh, pectin that I've collected I tried to dry it out in the oven uh, well on a low heat in the oven uh, on a, uh, so I, I collected it and then I put it onto a, a plate and then to see if I could uh, evaporate off uh, the liquid and then it would dry out uh, and it did to some degree but then ended up with this like gelatinous type of peel type looking type stuff well, it could, maybe I should have taken a picture when I was doing it but it dried and it was like formed a bit of the cake and then some of it uh, went to powder and some of it kind of went to that which I presume was it turning into kind of doing its job as a bit of a jelly so I have uh, this is the stuff that I've sieved out of it so we're going to make some more jam so just cheap strawberries from the soup from the market and there is 800 grams of strawberries they only cost a pound so that was okay so 800 grams of strawberries 600 grams of sugar and six grams of the homemade pectin I don't know if because I've dried it out and it looks like I've cooked it already I don't know if it'll work so it's kind of a a, a, a two form kind of uh, test uh, is it pectin and if I dry it out uh, and make a mess of drying it out and so it looks like that uh, will it still work as pectin uh, is it something like um, what am I going to do? Yeah, yeah, so if you were to take corn flour and use it to, um, if you were to uh, thicken it in water and then dehydrate it so it was to take it back to a flour, would it then thicken up some water again type of thing? So do, was, does pectin work in the same kind of way? So I was just kind of, I'm just curious and I need a bit of jam. And I'll be making more apple juice next year. So is it worth saving the pectin at the bottom if it makes jam? So that's it. So we'll see how we go. Um, pretty straightforward, isn't it, really? So we'll be back when the jam is uh, formed and cooking. Right, so that looks like it's going to set pretty well. Fingers crossed. So I've got some jars that have been sterilizing in the oven. Just under, well, 100 degrees and then turn it down to 75 for half an hour just to kind of kill everything. Don't use that one. Use that one. Oh, and so we'll see. Oops. Hmm. That's what we'll do. Oh, well, into there like that. We'll just do the one big jar. Of jam, and then I'll save this. I won't bother jarring up the uh, that little bit. I'll just put that into a container. Because once it's sealed, it's sealed. And I don't like opening things once I've I've sealed them. Because if I'm not going to use it, well, just for the sake of it, I'm showing something on camera. quite thick on the bottom of the pan so I think that's going to set pretty well so I think I haven't ruined the pectin by drying it out and I think that it definitely is pectin in the bottom of those apples although it's funny it's not I've made apple juice from different apples so I normally get the white stuff from my uh, my sister's tree from the apple from my sister's tree and there's two different types of apples on that tree 
it's one of those dual splitty splitty ones so and I've made apples from other apple trees and it hasn't it hasn't worked the same well I haven't got the, the white powder so I don't, I don't well the white gunky powder so I don't know I'm going to burn myself if I'm not careful so I don't know why just that particular tree but anyway it looks like it's going to set so we'll use I'll seal that one properly so that's the jam and that can sit and be fine and then that one will cool down and that's the one we'll be able to look at uh, when it's cool and, and just to double check that it has worked and it's properly set and it is pectin and I haven't killed it uh, killed the pectin can you kill pectin um, when I've uh, dried it out in a in a in a low oven and kind of cooked it and kind of done that to it but anyway we'll see and we are cooled and thick so that's definitely pectin that I collected from the apples look at that it's quite luxurious is that and me faffing about with it and slightly um burning it well not burning it but turning it into looks like a fruit leather actually hmm, i wonder if that's why fruit leathers because of the pectin them turn into that hmm. that's something we'll need to investigate yeah so me uh, messing around uh, with the pectin and thinking that i'd screwed it up obviously didn't so next year when i or next time i make some apple juice from fresh apples I'll collect the pectin and I'll dry it out in a more, I'll probably just dry it out in the sun, I think that will probably be better. But there you go, that works. It's definitely pectin and I didn't ruin it. Uh, so there we go, a success.